Hey everyone, and welcome back to part 49 of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, in our very last episode, we did some more stuff around uh, Jotunheim. We made a deal with a very untrustworthy Jotun and betrayed a very trustworthy Jotun. And I don't like any part of that, even a little bit. But anyways, we're on episode uh, 49 now, which is kind of insane when I uh, think about it. That's 55 hours into this game, and I'm predicting right now that we probably have about 25 hours of content left before we even get to the end of the game, which is wild and absolutely nonsensical. And I'm loving it a lot. I'm loving it a lot. So, I'm now power level uh, 191 once I use all these... Um, options. Let me see. What, what I'm, I'll admit, I haven't played this game in a little while, guys. Uh, since the last episode, and now it has been it's been a hot minute since I've uh, played played this game. Uh, I basically had way too much. I had way too many episodes stored, and like I needed to get them. I needed to get them out. I needed to like publish them, I need to upload them, and between all of that, I really, you know, I just didn't have time to record more, and I, it wasn't even an issue with time, I guess, as much as, like, I just had so many that I was, like, already not finished with, so I get to spend some time getting back on top of it, recording stuff, I mean, not recording stuff, uh, editing stuff and uploading, and honestly, that, it took me a while, so it's been, like, four days uh, since my last episode. But anyways, I'm unhappy with what I did with these Jotuns here. I feel like you guys should be too, because I'm obviously helping the wrong team right now. The guy I'm currently working on is hella sus, and uh, I'm not not really that cool with uh, with helping this guy no more. But anyways, that's a pretty big cut into the uh, Jotunheim plotline. So, I think... I think... I'm going to instead wake up, and we're going to go back to the overworld plotline. And in the last thing we did there, we had our brother Sigurd had his arm chopped off, and we had to return to Ranvi, our lovely, beautiful Ranvi, and tell her that, um, you know, Sigurd is uh, missing uh, body parts. Uh, well, it's not really good news. But anyways, after we finished that, in a weird change, we weren't able to use the Alliance map anymore. Instead, the next objective it had in the main storyline was to go to sleep. Um, which doesn't feel like the right thing to do after, you know, my brother's missing an arm. There's plenty of times when I need to rest and sleep. Uh, I would never usually assume that that would be after, you know, limbs are hacked off of my sibling. But... You know, maybe it's a good time if I need to get a clear head and uh, rest and think about things. Uh, so, guess I'm also gonna change out of uh, out of these uh, these vestments. Uh, I just really don't like what they look like, to be honest. It looks, it just doesn't look very assassiny. I feel very bulky. So I'm gonna switch it up. Something I think. You know, goes better with my wardrobe. Look how nice my axes are and stuff. Like, they're, they're, they look gorgeous. But uh, I'm going to change to some cooler vestments. And then we're going to go to sleep. And we're going to figure out where that where the game sends me. I think it's going to be to Suthex. Uh, just because that's where, in the last time we saw Sigurd, it mentioned that uh, that's where he was being taken. So I think that's wh where uh, we're going to go. And I wouldn't be surprised after we finish the next uh, region, wherever that is. Uh, and as I said, I think it's going to be Suthex. But I wouldn't be su surprised if uh, after we finish that region, we're going to get Sigurd back. Uh, because I feel like um, getting Sigurd back is not the main plot of this game. Uh, the main plot of this game is, you know, the betrayal and the relationship between them. And then some unknown big bad, possibly with Fulke. But I don't think the big uh, climax of this game is getting Sigurd back. So... What has happened? So I think we what need to. Um, Stranger things yet. But something took me out of it, pulled me away. Mm, yes, that can happen. 
Return when you're rested, and we will try again. You got it, Vala, Volka. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, other half of the Jotunheim story very soon. Don't worry about that. Um, but, uh, let's get back on to... Where is my longhouse? Also, it looks like, I think the next thing might be some sort of Dag insurrection. I don't know when Dag is eventually going to rise up and try to overthrow me, but it doesn't seem like that is going to be much longer as he has been hinting at it for a very, a very long time that he does not think I'm fit to be leader and he would rather be leader for reasons that are completely unknown. Um, so I think I might go Magister's Robe. I kind of wanted to do Magis the Magister set last. Um, because I think it's one of the coolest ones. Um, but I don't know what other set I have besides Huntsman. And I don't really like the Huntsman set. Um, let's see if I have all of them. I hope I do. Uh, I don't have it. I don't have it! Ugh. Okay, so what that means is I'll probably do Huntsman uh, for this episode, and then in the episode after that, I'm going to try to figure out where the last Magister piece is. I'm assuming I've probably passed it at some point. Um, it's probably just one of the items that I didn't bother picking up, uh, like one of the uh, uh, wealth items that I'm missing. Just because I've gotten every other piece for it, it just kind of seems like that's going to be... Uh, where it is. And then uh, we're going to be using the Magister's one in probably the uh, next couple episodes. But I also really need to uh, start remembering to equip uh, runes to stuff. Because I have so many goddamn runes. And uh, <laughs> so many runes, so many items. And I've never been like struggling with the combat. So I haven't bothered to, you know, get uh, everything all maxed out, uh, but, you know, might as well. Especially considering we found out that, um, why can't I use this screen slot? Oh, yeah, especially since we figured out that, um, you can unsocket things at will. So if you can unsocket things at will, you might as well, you know, uh, you might as well socket everything you can. So I think that's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do speed. Why not? I'm honestly like I'm I'm just filling up space right now, guys. Um, I also can put runes on my weapons. Uh oh. I don't realize I unequipped that. Um, and, you know, other stuff like that. I also might change weapons up soon. I don't know what else I want to even use. I could probably use the blacksmith's hammer. Uh, I'm aware that I think the, like, super weapon of this game that takes for a while to get, but uh, you eventually unlock it, is Thor's hammer. Uh, that's, like, your super crazy weapon that you can unlock at some point in the game. And so knowing that... Uh... I think I should probably get better at using hammers. Seems like something that would make sense. Like, look at look at this outfit. It looks so terrible. Like, that's all I can say. It just looks like a bad outfit. Um, but yeah, I think that I'm gonna have to go back and collect. What item is not checked off here? I'm just trying to get the exclamation mark to disappear from my uh. Like, up here. really bothers me, but... I think it's just a little bugged. But yeah, I really don't like this outfit. I'm gonna go get the Magister set very soon. Uh... But not quite yet. Also, I should probably eat and stuff, right? Like, my character has no health, and I have no idea what's about to happen. My god! What was I even doing in Jotunheim? I have no health, no arrows... Oh, right, that was right. I was being killed by a giant. Um, yeah, no health, no arrows, no anything. I know there's a lot of, like, health bushes in in the camp. So I can run around. Um. Uh, 
I also wanted to check if I had any uh, materials to improve my, my settlement, but I think I did that pretty recently. Probably last time I came back. So it looks like we're all caught up. Hey, puppy. Um. Man, yeah, I think our settlement's pretty much thriving. We're getting very close. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello, Roman host statue. Settlement's coming along. It's thriving. It's starting to look really good. Um. I mean, I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, I think Sigurd will be too, if uh, he's not, you know, caught up with, you know, missing body parts and stuff, which he shouldn't be, you know. Plenty of people lose body parts, it's nothing to cry about. wonder what I can put over here. Nah. I'll wait till I get more decorative elements unlocked before I do that. So let's go to bed and find out what happens. I'm wondering, it's either going to be news about... Aw, oh, look, it's, uh, it's Chewy. It's either going to be news about Sigurd, or it is going to be Dag trying to kill me. But I don't think it will be Dag trying to kill me because uh, because Chewie has got my back when I sleep, so I should be fine, right? I mean, it makes sense to me. I don't know if you have to do the Chewie quest, so I'm kind of wondering if I hadn't, would Chewie be in this cutscene? But anyways, he is. Looks, looks amazing. Oh god. Alright, it's time to kill Dag. We knew it was going to come to this, guys. We knew it was uh, Dag murder in time. I think I called it. Stop there, wolf -kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment, because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me, and I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death. Uh, you've lost your mind, Dag. Nonsense, Dag. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made. I mean, he's challenged me to a home gang. According to all the rules of the world, I gotta murder him now. I haven't played in a while. Dag, you suck. You're not even good me like a hard fight. Kicking his ass. How have I gotten soft? You're like not even coming close to landing a hit on me. Pathetic. Ron V, I would love to stop, but he keeps coming at me. I think that was Ron V who was talking.
Oh my god, he's not even like trying to fight me, he's just trying to run. Like, apparently, when I fought Jag and he was just unarmed, the game was actually kind of glitched. And he's not supposed to be unarmed during that fight. I have no idea why it worked out like that. But it just straight up worked out that like he just didn't have a, any weapons. And apparently he's supposed to actually, you know, be decent at fighting. So, uh, anyways, here's him not sucking. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, I never realized he had rune tax. I heal up. I do not want to do this. Walk away. Yeah, so that's what's supposed to happen. He's supposed to have two swords. Sorry, have a shield, and then when you take down a shield, he's supposed to have two axes. What happened to me that first time, if, oh, he just had no weapons, and... Holy crap, a lot of damage. You suffer with his teeth, and then leave him to die! I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Please! Please, both of you! You couldn't wait! There we go, that was a much more respectable fight. Still not too different. I mean, he does have some very long, like, repeat attacks that once he hit me once, he just kind of hit me, like, four times. I don't think I could, like, dug my way out of it. forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect. All he demand. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. He kind of seems like a dick. Like, why would I deny Dag Valhalla just because, it, like, it's a small fight, he had a good life, he's not Ivar, who is a dickhead his entire life, Dag was just kind of a dickhead at the end, and, you know, he's doing his best. I don't, I don't, I don't know why the game would be like, Take this no, and fly to here you Odin, stop being a dick. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. <sighs> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this! Now you will hear the truth unvarnished. None, none more than me wishes the secret safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That 
That is my oath. My oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. Yes, I promise. I have literally no idea why anyone would doubt that of me and believe that Dag wants to find Sigurd more than me, especially considering I went on a mission to Kent to find Sigurd, and I was looking for him for ages, and, you know, I tried my best, and in the meantime, while I was down in Kent trying to track down Sigurd, <laughs> Dag was chilling at home. And defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend, but I remember them well. I'm gonna say I didn't expect... Let's talk to Dag. I wonder what became of you. If anything remains of so strong a spirit. I really didn't expect Dag to die in this episode. I didn't think we were going to kill him. I thought it was going to end up with us exiling him. Um, and, you know, something like that. But, you know, I should have seen that coming. I knew the Dag conflict was brewing for a long time. I really kind of expected us to exile him some or something. Um, but, you know... Had to happen. Dag was just not cool. Hey, Glad then to see you. Um, I did try my best. I did try my best for the best outcome, but uh, Dag was just Eivor? kind of a jerk. Anyways. How do you feel, Eivor? I, uh, I would rather not talk about it. I understand. So let's find out where we're going map. next. I really thought the game was going to force me to go to the next area on the Alliance map, but apparently it is still optional, and now I have so many options I can go to. I can go to Snottingham, but I'm not because that's level 250 area. Uh, I can go to Jorvik to do more stuff for the Order. I can go to Lincolnshire, which I really want to go to. I can go to Essex, and I can go to Sussex. So all three of these areas are... Um, Power 160, but Sutex is obviously the next story area, uh, because that's where Sigmund was taken, and I really wanted to go to Sutex, but it just seems... Uh, actually, that's not true. I don't think I wanted to go there. I thought the game was basically forcing me to go there, but now that the game has given me uh, these two, Lincolnshire and Essex, I think I want to go to one of those two more, and out of the two... Uh, Lincolnshire is the one that gives me more coastline to unlock, more area, like more square footage, and it gives me raw materials as an award. So I'm going to go to Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire. A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. So my plan is to do Lincolnshire, and then I'm going to go back to... Uh, then I'm going to go back to Jotunheim. Uh, finish up the Jotunheim plus line. Then I'm going to go to Essex. Then... I'll go to... Uh, Sussex. And then I'll go to London. So I think I got time to do London. I'm not really stressed out about that. Hello, guys. It's uh, an odd place for you to be hanging out. Let's head down this way. I realize I still haven't beaten uh, this guy down here at uh, Orlog. At, at the, when I first saw this guy, I thought he was the same guy you play in... Um, in, back in Norway. 
And I realize now that he isn't. Um, let me see if I got any money from from my Yom Zikinger when I wasn't playing. Um, so that's the main reason why I didn't play that person, Orlog. But I've realized that they're a completely different person, so I can definitely challenge them and get another Toten. And I'm pretty close to, I think, getting all my, all my, uh... All right, bring out my lieutenant. All my Totens. Hey, how's it going? Do you want another axe? I can give you a weapon. Give you a real cool weapon. Do you want a hammer? I think I'm cool with, uh, my Yom's Viking air for now. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. I just adore the laughter of the water. The s you may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. She's not home? I'm gonna be Every a political. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because her name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What is your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family, that is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. Oh, I'll be nice. These two, these two are the first two are so mean. If I knew Fuck. my father was ill and beyond saving, I would ready myself to take his place. Will you take up his burden should he fall? Oh, banish the thought that such a great man should perish. But if he were to pass, yes, yes, I believe I could. I must. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together. ...and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah! You are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall... ...but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the rune. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven... ...Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all.
It seems nice. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. That's also quite possible. That's cool. We got the Lincolnshire arc started, and we didn't even have to leave our uh, our settlement. So it looks like we're going to be running off that way. I'm not going to uh, delay too much. I think this is another Yom Viking I can uh, hire. I'm not going to bother talking to him. Anyways, uh, he waits for you in Botolfsun, a village to the northeast. So, northeast seems to be this way. Obviously, I'm going to need my horse for this. I'm not going to be in walking distance. Um, let's see how far we're going. It's one of the many funs of doing Lincolnshire as a story arc, is we can finally do this raid, which is off in Lincolnshire. Uh, and obviously the fastest way to get up there would be to, you know, uh, take my boat. But I'm actually going to take my horse because I want to get, I, I want to get some of these sink points. Uh, same thing like when I started the Kent campaign. I really want to get the sink points on the way up. So I think that's just going to end up helping overall. I feel like I also do need to get a new horse. Not that I don't love my horse. Uh, Parsifal is a great horse. And my other horse is also a great horse. Um, just that, you know, I want to fill out the stable. Get more... Get out, get everything I can get, you know? I'm just going to buy everything. So this is actually the second time I'm going to go into Lincoln Trier this game. Actually, third time. No, very early in the game, I tried to raid that raid at the uh, south side of Lincolnshire uh, because I didn't realize that it was so much more higher level than me at the time. Uh, and then there was another time where I think I did a quest for uh, the baker that took me up into Lincolnshire. May have not been the baker, but I think uh, that one took me there too. And I was really worried when I did that quest because I knew we were going into a level 160 area and... <laughs> I want to die. Um, but, alas, it was okay. Because there weren't actually, like, any really baddies to fight. I think that was a quest where we were just tripping on, uh, on some drugs. Uh, but anyways. Looks like we're going to be able to fly through it. Looks like mostly countryside. I'm surprised it's ranked in such a, like, a high power area. It's very sparse. But it's gonna feel really good when I finish this uh, arc, uh, because it's gonna give me a lot of the map. And it's also gonna give me the far east of the map, and I think that's gonna help me, just for purely, <laughs> purely like perfectionist reasons or completionist reasons. It's gonna make me feel like I've uh, accomplished a lot more. It's not very uh, popular out here, though. There's a lot of countryside. Portland. Oh, hello. That was not a friendly face. Sounds coming from that old church. I kind of don't want to do this guy's mystery yet. It's right beside this, uh, think point, so I can easily do it uh, later, uh, just by fast traveling back here. And I'm just here to get the fa uh, the think points right now. Maybe in the future, that man will be helped by me. Probably when I do my wealth collection episode for Lincoln Char. really pretty out here. But yeah, it doesn't look like this is going to be one of the more populated uh, boroughs of uh, Viking England. Come here, buddy. Alright, we're going to go off to the next thing point. Simple as that. 
Let's see what we got on the map first. Ooh, that unlocked plenty of more map for me. Uh, Lincoln Trier doesn't even seem like it has a lot of wealth, too. I think there's like four wealth items in that raid. And, you know, it doesn't look like there's a lot a lot here. Um, at least not in this area. But, I mean, it does go all the way up to here. So, I guess we'll see. Wait, is that raid also in Lincoln? No. That's in Snottingham. And that is in Yervishire. It's weird that the game lets me go to Snottingham so early. It's a level 250 area, but... There's a level 190 area it's not letting me go to yet. So... I know it's there, but it seems like the game doesn't want me to get it yet. I'm kind of detouring just a little bit to get this wealth item, just because it seems like it's really in my way. I'm really happy I also... I don't remember what episode I did it on, but probably when I bought my new horse, I remember to get all the upgrades for horses. And I regret having done taken so long in the game to do that, but I still really haven't used my silver for much in this game. Like, I haven't bought weapons or anything. Um, I know what I'm saving it for, I should probably just start splurging. But, um, but it's definitely a good choice to, uh, get all my house, uh, my horse stuff. That's uh, making traversal just way, way more pleasant. Alright, so I'm assuming, yeah, I didn't think that was going to be it. Seems like a, a baddie over there. Just looking for a key. Anybody got a key? understand why this guy's listed as a baddie. Just a dude, right? What the poisoning? Alright, well needless to say that was unexpected. And I died. Like, what? I thought those guys were going to be super weak, so I didn't even worry about it. And then, the guy just shot an arrow into... He didn't even hit me! I didn't even know... Like, was the arrow just covered in poison? And it just hit the area around me and I got sick? I have no idea. But, it took me out real fast. And I thought it was going to be a joke. I didn't even prepare to fight them. Anyways, hopefully the game will put me back there. I'll kill those two guys, grab the key, grab the loot, and then run back to my sink point so I get a lot closer to where I'm going in Lincoln. Alright, tip number two. Or not? Oh man, the game put me all the way back here. I have to edit this section out. That's so annoying. Luckily, isn't that far. I think I was over exaggerating how much of a journey this would be. Maybe I don't have to edit it out. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, I'm still just annoyed that uh, 
those two guys even stood a chance against me. I honestly couldn't figure out why the game was telling me they were baddies. Because they just look like peasants. But uh, they were not peasants. They were people who only had eyes for murder. So anyways, let's uh, serve them right by giving them a little bit of cheeky little murder. Oh my god, I don't have arrows. Oh, never mind, I found arrows. How long have I not had arrows in this game? Pretty stealth, but that guy did make a lot of noise as he was dying. Feel stronger already. Alright, so it looks like there's something here. A little chest. I'm not really here for a chest. I'm really looking for some, uh, some keys to a door. I just kind of matrix dodged that first one. Oh my god. He's in like the least hittable spot. Okay, we got him. We got him, boys. And I think he had a key on him because I definitely see. Oh, no, it's off here. We got our key. Ooh, we're good. <laughs> Looks like there's another item here too, so this may have been more worthwhile than I thought it was. Uh, I think this is a saga page or something. <laughs> Treasure hoard map? Unexpected. Uh, so these guys are dead. That's unfortunate. All to prepare, uh, protect one nickel ingot. Doesn't really seem worthwhile, I guess. I mean, I guess it makes my weapon flawless, so... Maybe it is worthwhile. There are more important things in, in the world than flawless weapons. Like, uh... Uh, mythical weapons, for, for just one example. Anyways, let's continue our little trek. And let's take advantage of my horse's new super cool ability to swim. Look at that. Who needs a longboat when we got a horse? It's all terrain, baby. Oh, well, just a boar fighting a wolf. And nature. You crazy nature. Anyway, it's not, not my business. I'm not interfering with any of that. Just off to the sink point. And trying to make my way to the sure that is Lincoln. Alright, it doesn't look like that, uh, a boar is still following me. Maybe it is. Oh, nope. It isn't, but like a wild dog is. I don't think that's a wolf. I think it's just sort of wild dog. Anyways, doesn't really matter. It's a cool area. This might, must be like a one of the uh, Roman runes that I'm in. Yeah, it looks very countryside-y. And Lincoln, not really a bustling urban sector that I've tr 
tra tropsed upon. Um, so there's the town of Lincoln, or city of Lincoln. Uh, there's going to be a sink point over there for me to collect, and another one over here. So I think before I do the next quest, I might get that one, and then sneak back towards um, the quest marker. I'm not sure. Anyways, I am sure I'm just going to jump. I do love those uh, Assassin's Creed uh, hay, hay bales. Every time you get a sink point, you know there's going to be a hay bale. Just how it's done. Come on, you can do it, horse. You can do it! Yeah. Alright. <laughs> uh, probably not the neatest way of climbing a hill. There's another wandering stranger there. I don't really feel that they're super useful. All they really do is tell you, like the yellow, the markers on your map, they just tell you what they actually mean. Um, to be completely, completely honest, I don't know how useful that is. Uh, because just there being markers on the map by itself is enough of an indication for me to actually go there. I don't actually need it to tell me uh, what it is that's actually there. You know? Like, you're gonna go there anyways, regardless of what what the actual thing is. So, it's not really worth me paying for be seen. Be uh, that extra piece of information. <laughs> this is actually a uh, bottle stun that I'm in right now, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it wasn't giving me the opening. I think because I just swam in instead of walked in. Um, so yeah, that's why I have to go in a second, and I will be right back there. Uh, after I do a uh, one kilometer detour to uh, to the synchronization point. I thought just cows wandering around here. Can I like? Can I herd them? Can I take them back to Ravenstorp with me? I mean, my settlement doesn't. I mean, I think we do have a cow farm, actually. Um, bought that a while ago. But, it's a pretty small one. I just steal a bunch of, rustle up some cattle from, uh, from my neighboring communities, and I can have a thriving, thriving farm. Plus, these people don't seem to care about their cattle. Their cattle are wandering around everywhere. Okay, so, Mercian Tower. It's a very generic name for this place. I wonder if that's the actual name of some tower in uh, in England, and so it just feels like a really generic uh, name for it, but it's actually like the real world name for it. Or if the game just decided to just you know just call this a Mercian Tower and just decide to be super generic about it. I could see both of those being real things. Or real possibilities, at least. There's that beautiful, beautiful coastline. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a look at my map. I'm just gonna enjoy it for a second. That's how I felt when I, I was in Kent and I saw Dover. And, oh yeah, look at all that coastline. We have practically the whole coastline all the way down, down the country now. Feels good. Feels like we're making progress. Anyway, let's dive. All right. So there we go. I, I cleaned up a lot of the. Uh... Oh, was I supposed to aim for that haystack? I don't think so. I think the game wanted me to dive into the water. Um, but anyways, 
looks like we got our mount. And uh, we got our sync points. So the only sync point we don't have left is the one that's in Lincoln. And that was very much deliberate because the next mission should be taking me to Lincoln, I think. Uh, so assuming the next mission takes me to Lincoln, then I might get that sync point this game, oh, sorry, this episode too, uh, when the mission takes me there. And I'll be good. A lot of, that's a lot of sync points in there uh, for one day. But anyway, let's get to this quest. Kind of weird. This is like the second quest I've done. This game flies by. It really does. Um, this is the second quest I'm done, uh, or I'm doing at least, and it's feel been like a solid hour of playing this game. Okay. Get out of here, Raven. Sorry, the area soon. Yeah. All right, all right. I think we're going right here. here. All right. Bye, Parsifal. I'll catch up with you later. I think we're just going in here, right? Yeah, we just to get into this longhouse. Didn't really require all that much stealth. So this is Hunval's safe haven. I got some supplies. Today. Tomorrow, the kingdom of Could have used a little bit more, again. to be honest. As free as the wind on the back of my neck. Your line of kings died it's tricky long ago, to me, John. Who's with me? I kind of want to just get drunk. Um, how funny would it be? I just, I just get drunk and then I start the quest line. Oh. <laughs> I just get the cutscene with uh, Parsifal, but not not Parsifal. I just get the cutscene with uh, I actually don't remember what the guy I'm hanging out with's name is, but <laughs> get into the cutscene. I'm just completely hammered. I just got some extra loot. That's pretty nice. I feel like I have way too many supplies right now, so I have to really stop looting. Or at least get some raw materials. Need to do more raids. Unwell. Who is this stranger? Ava, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvald's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Um... Yeah, what's your plan? I definitely need Alfgar, so I'm not going to be mean about it. Your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln. Away, but with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You damn yeah, I see him. Lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. 
And here she'll prove it. Isn't well, the king of Mercia, my pal? Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in. I, I mean, I have to always go with the, uh, with the charismatic ending, right? With the morning ending, I, I like my morning, I mean, we have to go with the charismatic ending. Blood eagle, my Saxon friends. A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then, we shall set forth in search of adventures new! What do you think, Elfgar? Is he an idiot? You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. You'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I like him. He seems nice. Yeah, I'm not sure why we let Hunwald go outside when we know he's wanted. I told anyway. Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Looks like Hunwald's in Hun trouble. Hunwald's in trouble. They call this pasty whelper lord. Look at him. Stop the Dundee bread. Villains, leave me be. Seems like this guy's gonna get a, uh, a flick, flick murdering. Leave him be. Watch my lead. What a bloody dame! Oh, I have been struck down. Silver days paying us. Within an inch of my life, but I will survive. Oh, damn. I'm a, I'm a little slow. Just, you know, I think it's just been a while since I played. I don't think it's anything that really concerns myself about. But definitely was, uh... I live! I am alive! Heaven have mercy! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottlestone will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Hoonwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. All right, what and that's... horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? All right. And so, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, we, it's probably a pretty fast episode, to be honest. Uh, possibly a little short. But we managed to meet Hunwald, and he seems to suck, if I'm going to be completely honest. He's terrible. But we met Ulfgar, and he's pretty cool. And we got this little fight with these four guys. I didn't actually fight that many people this episode. And, um, I mean, it doesn't look like this area is going to be much to be worried about. I think I'm coming off, uh, or coming to this area. That is the most vicious thing I've ever read. Um, I came to this area from Jotunheim, which was more powerful than I was. So, uh, it definitely feels like I'm in an easier area. So, I think we should be cruising through here. But anyways, uh, in the next episode, we're going to take uh, Kundwald... And we're going to find out, you know, exactly what's going on. Because I still don't know what's fully going on in Lincolnshire. And we're going to do that. Um, but yeah. And another news. It looks like I only have 
I've I think I've officially completed the whole tree. There's I think there's one last constellation here. But after that I will have uncovered the entire skill tree constellations that you can get in this game. So that I'll have every ability very soon, probably in the next episode to be honest. And you know, then it's just a matter of, you know, collecting all the uh all the smaller ones. Which is wild. But anyways, hope to see you guys in the next episode. If you guys are enjoying the series, please remember to like and comment. And if you're not enjoying the series, how the heck did you make it this far? That's absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, see you guys all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.